Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jordan Giesegi, and this is The Limiting Factor. As I said in my last video, I'm currently working with UC San Diego to tear down the 4680 cell that was provided by Monroe & Associates. Part of that teardown process was doing a video call with UC San Diego to disassemble the cell. So today's video is the recording from that call. It's not super information dense like my typical videos are, so I'd consider it bonus content. With that said, to make the best use of your time, I've trimmed it down from about an hour to 15 minutes. The key points from the disassembly are that from the Generation 1 4680 cell to the Generation 2 4680 cell, or cyber cell, Tesla trimmed about 20 grams of weight from the cell can. That was achieved by making the cell can thinner and by removing two parts at the copper anode terminal, the copper current collector and the plastic gasket. As I suggested in previous videos, that in turn was achieved by welding the cell can shut rather than crimping it, and by welding the tabless electrode directly to the lid rather than using the current collector as an intermediary. The next video, which we'll release in two weeks, will be an in-depth look at the energy density of the Generation 2 4680 cell and how it compares to the other battery cells that Tesla uses. Then, in the following video, I hope to release all the specs and data gathered from the teardown by UC San Diego. Before we begin, a special thanks to my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitter subscribers, as well as Rebellionaire.com. They specialize in helping investors manage concentrated positions. Rebellionaire can help with covered calls, risk management, and creating a money master plan from your financial first principles. I'd also like to say thank you to the people who made this video possible. Shirley Mung organized funding for the work as a professor at the University of Chicago and an adjunct professor at UC San Diego. Additionally, thanks to Wai Kong Lee and Wai Liang Yao, who tore down the 4680 cell and will also be doing the analysis. You know, it's been two years since the last teardown. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that. It's been a while. Hopefully we will verify the dry cathode from this cell. Um, oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's going to be dry cathode based on uh, Tesla just announced um, a couple of weeks ago in their uh, quarterly report? update that uh, they is the, It's already in mass production, right? Um, th they've done one test pack for the Cybertruck and they plan on putting into mass production um, later this year. So the main okay. thing we're going to be getting out of this now is just Thank confirmation you. of that. Okay. And then also we'll get confirmation of um, how much nickel is in the cathode and whether there's any silicon in it. Okay. Yeah. So we'll get started. Jordan, can you see it clearly? Yes. Yes, I can. Is this okay? Yeah, it looks good to me. This looks like it's going to go much faster than last time with that pipe cutter. <laughs> nice. Interesting. There's no. Yeah. Yeah, and it's really muffled. It sounds like somebody's hand is covering the microphone, or uh, there's something going on. Okay. Okay. There. Okay. That's a lot better. I can hear now. Oh, okay. Can you hear us? Cool. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. There's no uh, current. Co current collector plate. Yeah, it's just welded directly to those, uh, the tabless electrode. Yes, correct. Sweet. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay, well, that, that's one less part. Yes. So, you want to see some, like, more details of this? Oh, uh, well, you can take, um, for, uh, yeah, that helps. Uh, but okay. you can take photos as well. That'll be, uh, okay. get where we'll get most of the detail. But that looks good. Okay. 
I'll go. Yeah. Yeah, so that probably saved them a gram and one process step. Or maybe a couple process steps. Couple of process steps, yeah. Yeah. Pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's your feeling as you are peeling it open? Is the metal thinner? It's uh, uh, yes, it's thinner actually. That, uh, my, at least I feel it's thinner. Okay. It's not as hard as last time. Not last time, but the last last time. The yeah. First time. <laughs> yeah, that time. Um, that it was, was really bad. It was like a <laughs> crazy. And I just realized this time, because it looks like the top was welded on, there was also no gasket. Uh, no last gasket. Time, yeah, last time there was a gasket. So that's two parts eliminated. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, it came in. No, oh, that's just what popped out. Yeah. yeah. Can you bring that? Uh, that trash. Trash. We need to we need to collect all this part and weigh it. This is a day weight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, great. You want to see the details? So, uh, these are all plastic, I think. Mm -hmm. This is the tab that they welded. This the well. This connected to the nipple here. Mm -hmm. So the. I think it's because uh, the the residue metal from here is actually tear down from here. So I think it's a whole piece. You see that okay. it's like some of the metal is just the same shape as here. Oh, yeah. yeah, so the, yeah. The, the, you still have a, I think it's, we called it, what did we call it last time? It's cathode current collector plate. Yeah. Yeah, they still have that here. Uh, okay. Let me try to see yep. if we can tear it down completely right. as a whole piece. Okay. Uh, so this time, it looks like a solid piece of metal rather than a, an intricate flower design. Oh, it can yeah. be tore. I think it can be tore down. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. And the welding is completely different. You see the patterns here, it's completely different from last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot more metal there. No. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. There's another layer? No. No? Uh, oh, okay, one okay. Layer. Just this one layer. Okay. That's fantastic. Yeah, if I had to guess, on the copper current collector, they probably weren't uh, having any resistance issues, and they were. Um, it might have actually helped welding it directly to the bottom mm -hmm. or on the top. Uh, maybe they needed a little bit more metal there to reduce the resistance, create a yeah more direct pathway or more connection points. Because this time, rather than a, a few welds on top, it looks like thousands of tiny pinpoint welds so uh, what uh how do you think it's the uh, we completely removed the dead part dead uh dead weight so this yeah. is a real jelly roll mm -hmm. and uh, we did we even removed the tape so yeah is it, yeah so, so that's separated you want you want us to weigh the whole uh parts Including the yeah. shell and everything here, right? Yeah, weigh the uh, shell separately and separately from the jelly roll, and that way we can get an idea of how much lighter, uh, oh, okay. how much inactive, how much inactive material they've removed. Okay. So I'll do that later because I need to transfer all these parts out. Don't have a a, a very big, big balance inside the glow box. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Not nothing surprising inside. 
Yeah, I think the yeah the more uh, pretty basic what we're after today. I think we we'll have. I still have the last time Jerry Rule inside. Uh, we can have a comparison. Okay. Yeah, if you if you could um, get a comparison of those two, that would be fantastic. Yeah, let me let me try to see if we can. I can. I still store the previous Jerry Rule inside my glove box. Okay. Let me. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised you still have it. Here we go. Oh, it's the same. Almost the same. Yeah, this is the Paris one. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it, this is the second one, not the first one. Okay. Yeah, th this is the one we uh, we tested the charge and discharge. Yeah, the um, uh, the last Monroe cell that we got. So both of these cells for, were from Monroe. And um, how, does, uh, how does that white strip compare? It's quite similar. Okay, pretty similar. All right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I didn't good. see too much difference. What about the width of the material? How does the width compare? The Total. width, maybe slightly lighter. No, it's the same. It's all the same. Okay. It's the same. You need to say. Yeah, we're we're, exactly. we're transferring a lunar inside, so we'll measure that. Okay. Well, just on a visual inspection, it looks like they're exactly the same width, which is a surprise exactly. to me. I thought yeah. they would take. I thought they but, would make better use of the internal volume of the cell. Yeah, that's uh, 71, I think. 71. Mm. Okay. If yeah, you last consider time. the Y part, it will be 72. So, one millimeter for the white part, right? Yeah. Yeah, one millimeter. One millimeter. And the and, tab um, yep. is still four millimeter, I think. Four? Okay. All right. Yeah. So that's are each of those measurements the same as last time? Mm hmm Okay. Pretty similar. Yeah, pretty similar. Okay. Yeah, let's see the anode side as well. Yeah, 74. Okay. And why is it a bit wider? Just so you have a little bit of overlap there to make sure you collect all the lithium when it hits the other side? Yes, it's pretty common. The anode in, in, in lithium ion batteries, the anode size is usually larger, slightly larger than the, than the cathode. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is from last time. Yeah, that copper current collector. Yeah. Current. You still hear it there, Gordon? Okay. Yeah, we're trying to weigh the dead weight. Dead weight. Okay. That was Anymore? fast. No, that's it. 50. 49, 50. That's everything? 49? Yeah, that's almost everything. Okay, I'll give Nothing it a few else. seconds. 49. 49. Yeah. Okay, so last time, I think it was 68 or 70 grams. So they cut yes. about. So for, do you remember if it was 68 or 70 last time? I think it's 66 or 68 or, 68. or near 70 something. So they cut like a 20 yeah. grams. Yeah. yeah, they cut 20 grams out of the cell. Pretty good. That's where, that's where they got most of their energy density increase then. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. We'll see the chemistry, then we'll know more. So. Do we need to measure the cool. thickness of this one? Yeah, yeah, thickness. Let's quickly measure the thickness of the... Uh, you have the protein kind of over here.
506 uh, micron. So it's 0.56 millimeter. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So it's not that much, and yeah, that doesn't make sense because it's um, they cut, you know, thirty percent of the weight out of the cell, something like that, but the thickness is are the same. So I remember last time it was six hundred, right? six hundred micron. Yeah, so five forty four. That's getting better. So for this time, it's uh, it's a thin, it's thinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I do know one thing that we might be encountering here is that depending on uh, where you measure it, you're going to get a thicker, a thinner reading because these these cell cans are uh, deep drawn. So at the top or the bottom, it's going to be a very different thickness. Yes, so it, it's possible, but the roughly it's like a 505 micron, 550 micron. Hmm. Okay. So it's five forty to five sixty something. Yes, yes. It's a it range. Range. Yeah, yeah. It's a range. It all depends on if there's a deformation of the scale or not. Okay. The best way is actually making it completely flat. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it is. It's you know at least by um, a rough guess it would be ten percent thinner at least. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You're right. Ten percent, right. roughly around ten percent thinner. Yeah. So it's probably better to go by the weight then rather than the um, the caliper yes. reading. But that does verify, provide some verification. Yeah, it's always a, a, a 0 0.55 millimeter, which is 550 micron. Okay. Okay. Well, that, got, that uh, gets me the key specs. That's great. And probably the, I guess my only other question is, uh, for the the characterization characterization tests that you're going to be doing that we listed, um, how long do you think it'll take you to get all those done? Uh, several days, I okay. think, because all we right. also need to analyze the data. So okay, yeah, yeah. All right, so probably something by the end of next week then. Correct. Correct. All right, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I think that covers it then. Mm hmm. We'll try to have a, a comparing slides. We'll put the new data and the and the compare it with the uh, old data. Awesome. So we'll see uh, at least the thickness of the electrode, the chemistry of cathode, anode. We'll probably also try to see if it's a, a still dry electrode or or, or slurry based electrode. So. All right. Well, I'm looking yeah. forward. Uh, thanks for your time again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. See you okay. later, guys. Right. Yeah. Have a great bye day. Bye. Have a great Keep day. In touch. Keep in touch. Will do. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting the channel by using the links in the description. Also, consider following me on X. I often use X as a testbed for sharing ideas, and X subscribers like my Patreon supporters generally get access to my videos a week early. On that note, a special thanks to my YouTube members, ex-subscribers, and all the other patrons listed in the credits. I appreciate all of your support, and thanks for tuning in.